Hello everyone. Now I am going to solve gate 2011 gate question. And the question is, an input x of t is equals to exponential of minus 2t into u of t plus del of t minus 6 is applied to an LTI system with impulse response h of t is equals to u of t. Then the output is. So we need to find what is the output of a given LTI system and choose one of the above given four options. So, given that an LTI system having impulse response h of t is equals to u of t, its input is x of t, and given x of t is equals to exponential of minus 2t, that is e power minus 2t into u of t plus del of t minus 6, and we need to find what is the output y of t. This is the question. So, and we know that y of t is nothing but x of t convolution h of t. In order to find what is y of t, first of all, I am going to find what is y of s. Then, by applying inverse Laplace transform to y of s, I can get what is y of t, right? Let this equation be one and this equation be two. And given the impulse response of LTI system is h of t is equals to u of t this equation b3 so first i'm applying laplace transform for equation 1 that is laplace transform of f of t is y of s equals to we know that laplace transform of two functions having their convolution is nothing but x of s into x2 of s so y of s will be equals to X of s into h of s. Now we need to find what is x of s and h of s. For that, first of all, I'm going to apply Laplace transform for this equation, so that I can get what is h of s. Laplace transform of h of t is h of s, and we know that Laplace transform of u of t that is nothing but one by s. So this will be equals to one by s. Now we need to find what is x of s. For that, I am going to apply Laplace transform for equation two. Then x of t Laplace transform is equals to x of s equals to. We know that Laplace transform of u of t is one by s. Then Laplace transform of e power minus two t into u of t is nothing but one by s plus two plus. We know that Laplace transform of del of t is one. Then Laplace transform of del of t minus six is equals to e power minus six s. Now we got x of s is equals to one by s plus two plus e power minus six s. Now we need to substitute both this x of s and h of s in this y of s. Then y of s will be equals to x of s that is e power minus six s plus one by s plus two into h of s that is. One by s. So now, by applying inverse Laplace transform to this y of s, we can get what is y of t. We got y of s is equals to e power minus six s by s plus one by s into s plus two. Let this be g of s that will be equals to one by s of s plus two. In order to apply inverse Laplace transform for this equation, first I'm going to differentiate this partially. So to g of s equals to a by s plus b by s plus two, where a is equals to g of s into s at s equals to zero. That is s into one by s of s plus two at s equals to zero. Then this will be equals to one by s plus two at s equals to zero. That is a is equals to one by two, and b is equals to s plus two into g of s at s is equals to minus two. That is, it will be equals to s plus two into one by s of s plus two at s is equals to minus two. It will be equals to one by s of at s equals to minus two. Then b is equals to minus one by two. Now g of s can be written as a by s, that is one by two into s plus b by s plus two, and b we got minus one by two. Therefore, minus one by two into s plus two. Now 
y of s becomes e power minus 6s by s plus 1 by 2s minus 1 by 2 into s plus 2. Now I am going to apply inverse Laplace transform for this y of s. So inverse Laplace transform of y of s is y of t. And we know that inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is u of t. Then inverse Laplace transform of e power minus 6s by s it will become u of t minus 6. And this will be become 1 by 2 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is u of t minus 1 by 2. And inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is u of t. Here it is 1 by s plus 2 right. So its inverse Laplace transform is 1 by 2 into u of t into e power minus 2t. Now y of t is equals to u of t minus 6 plus I am going to common 1 by 2 into u of t. That is 0 0.5 into u of t. If I common here it will be remaining 1 minus here it is e power minus 2t. Now I got y of t is equals to u of t minus 6 plus 0 0.5 into 1 minus e power minus 2t into u of t. From the given 4 options, option d is the correct one. That is for the given LTI system whose input is this x of t, its output is this y of t that is equals to 0 0.5 into 1 minus e power minus 2t into u of t plus u of t minus 6. Thank you.